new welding cart for my welder and hey we're going to open her up and the reason why i got this is because i want this to be off the ground instead of sitting on the ground i probably need to make a stand for that too and i probably need to get a new toolbox but that might be later down the road and i'm finna work on a porch after this we're gonna sand her down and uh i think that's pretty much it man honestly so let's get her open All right guys, so we got all our hardware right here. I guess we got our cross beams. No, these are like our, I don't know, beams. We got instructions. We got this piece of the thing. Don't know where this go at. We got our wheels. Pretty neat. We got this, I don't know. I think this is where our holes wrap around. Got our first shift. Second. And third. So, really excited. So guys, honestly, I really don't read instructions, but it's pretty not rocket science. I mean, you got this uh, shaft for your wheels that go across. Uh, just based off uh, the picture, I'm like I'm like a visual learner, so yeah. But anyway, we're gonna look at the instructions. Don't even know where to start at. So this is 100 uh, capacity. Where are they gonna have us start? So I guess first step would say put the wheel two in the end of the cart. Actually, in the security washers with the cart pin. So basically, we need to put the wheels on and uh, just go from there. Gotta see which type of bolts. I think they, all of them might be the same. I don't know. So let's just put these big old wheels on. Well, let's put the shaft through uh, this part right here. As you can see, it's gonna go. Sorry for all the, as you can see, we have the shaft uh, going through. I wish I had my tripod so y'all could see me, but it's really hard with one hand. So first thing first, put your axle through. Put your wheels on and then obviously you have two washers right here and you got your uh, carter pin you got a washer on the side and then your carter pin now we now we're going to these rollers right here um a uh, bolt two washers and a nut uh eight in total four individually and then like i said all the hardware is pretty much the same uh pretty fairly easy and I like this page right here on how in-depth it is. It's look pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'm using a 10 millimeter too on uh, each side to tighten these uh, little small little nuts up. So I got, got the base pretty much. Anyway, that's it. We got the base done. We got a shaft through, washer, carter pin. We got our uh, eight bolts for each roller wheel, four in total, and uh, nice and snug. So we're gonna move on to the next part. I think they're calling for the arms to be on. Yeah, the arms to be on, which is right here. I think the arm right here. Yeah, right here. And it goes like this. So this is gonna be pretty fun. I'm probably gonna get this thing like done. I'm gonna show y'all afterwards. Um, it's really not that hard. Yeah. So guys, it wasn't too bad. We got the base done. We got the two side arms or legs. Um, my budgeted two here and then two on the other side, four in total. I did a top shelf first, uh, then I'm doing a bottom shelf now and I'm gonna end up putting the back shelf on. So it wasn't too bad. Like I said, 10 millimeters all around, so yeah. So guys, we got it done. I would recommend putting on the back side uh, first. Honestly, you just have one, two, and three bolts. And then uh, you will put your uh, arms in, uh, I would say tight, 
make sure they're the right direction. Make sure your hose is like angled because I had them these two backwards where uh, the hose was angled that way. And now just put your shelves in and uh, that's pretty much it to be honest. So you got your base and backside, two arms, your two shelves and everything just button up together. It was pretty fairly easy. Um, we also got chains and all that little stuff, so I'm gonna see where I need to put these at and uh, show y'all the aftermath. So guys, that would be pretty much it. I'm actually cleaning out this whole area and stuff, trying to make things look a little neater. So. That's pretty much it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more. Appreciate y'all. Peace.